Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford, our new favorite Hollywood bromance. Plus, Sam Smith says his dad did not like Stay With Me. Hey friends, Denny here. Now you know Fridays have me feeling a certain kind of way and I am so excited to share some special tracks for New Music Friday. And we'll have that for you in just a few, but first, Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford are on the screen together. They're facing a post-apocalyptic Los Angeles in Blade Runner 2049, 35 years after the original, which of course starred Harrison. The film is out now and is getting rave reviews, but the real fun has been the budding bromance between the two co-stars. Their press tour has just been non-stop laughs. Watch these two just unravel during this booze-filled interview with Britain's This Morning host, Alison Hammond. Yeah. Let's talk about the movie Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. Cheer up. <laughs> Cheer well, you know, up. It's, a bit, it's a bit of a bleak Let's, day. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's a lovely day in London. Let's keep it that way. I'm this so is, sorry. This is not the introduction we were promised. Do, do, Bring me on with a little, to pick it up a little a happier music. Now look, the two have been busting each other's chops in front of our cameras too, starting way back at San Diego Comic-Con this summer. How was it working together? How was it, how, what was it like? It was horrible, yeah. horrible. Yeah. Never came never met. By the way, I'm Ryan. Yeah. You're Ryan? Yes. Oh jeez, yeah. I thought it was a, yeah. Thanks for doing I thought it. I... And then there's also the time Harrison straight up drew a blank when E.T. asked which Gosling film was his favorite. Harrison, you said that you wanted to work with Ryan after uh, seeing a lot of the work that he'd done. Was there one role in particular? What, was it The Notebook? I, I'm just asking you. I don't think so. No, it, <laughs> was, I, it wasn't The Notebook. I'm gonna take notebook. a wild it, it stab was, in the uh, dark and say it wasn't. <laughs> it, it wasn't The Notebook. He's I mean, the discipline to learn uh, the, all the dancing, all the dance routines, the singing, and the keyboard. I love the keyboard in uh, La La Land. La La Land. I cannot get enough of Gosling and Ford, and I'm telling you, they need to take their act on the road immediately. Okay, thanks. All right, another blockbuster making some waves today, Pacific Rim Uprising. The new trailer for the sequel just dropped at New York Comic Con, and it is epic. Take a look. There's something you need to see. He's pretty big. Dope, right? John Boyega plays the son of Idris Elba's character from the original, and he told the crowd at Comic-Con that the vision of this movie was to build upon and expand upon the universe, adding that this is sacred ground, and fans of Guillermo del Toro's first movie will be pleased. All right, moving on from movies to music. Sam Smith revealed the cover art and name of his second album. It's called The Thrill of It All. He also announced tour dates, and I'm telling you, Sam, I am coming to see you live by hook or crook. Now, if that weren't enough, he also dropped his second single ahead of his SNL performance, and I gotta tell you, we are catching feels on this new one called Pray. And I'm gonna pray. church on that one, folks. All right, Sam says a lot of his family stories are on this next album and are very much a part of his new music. In fact, Sam told our friends at Radio.com that his family can be very honest about his work. And they're really honest with me. And, uh, you know, when they're not feeling something, they'll, they'll let me know. And I'll disagree with them. Oh, won't you stay with me? My dad hated Stay With Me. I remember when I played that to him, he absolutely hated it, so they're very honest. Well, you proved your dad wrong with that one, Sam. Meanwhile, Lin-Manuel Miranda recruited an all-star list of Latino artists for his benefit song, Almost Like Praying. The song was released Thursday night and features singers Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony, and Gloria Stefan, just to name a few. Take a listen. Like 
Uh, it's only a bonus that the song is also a jammer because proceeds of the single will go directly to HispanicFederation.org to help those in Puerto Rico affected by Hurricane Maria. All right, country stars Marin Morris and Vince Gill are also lending their voices in their new duet. It's a heartfelt, emotional plea to don't hate. This song could not be coming at a better time. So there you guys have it. It's been a tough week for all of us, but I am wishing you a great weekend and go out and spread that love. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Goodbye.